Hello guys, this is me, Dr. JK, and today we will discuss about ameloblastic odontoma. In our previous lectures, we have studied about ameloblastic fibroma and ameloblastic fibroodontoma. Remember, these tumors were mixed tumors, that is because it contains odontogenic epithelium and odontogenic ectomesenchyme, with or without dental heart tissues. So today we will discuss about ameloblastic odontoma. You know, this name is very familiar to you people ameloblastic odontoma so it will have it will have both characteristic of ameloblastoma and odontoma so let's see what we have uh, ameloblastic odontoma is also known as odonto ameloblastoma it is extremely rare odontogenic tumor and it will contain both ameloblastomatous component and odontoma like elements as the name suggests okay Okay, now we'll discuss about clinical features. Because of the rarity of the odontoameloblastomas, little reliable information is available. It is most commonly present in younger patients and may affect both jaws. Okay, there will be pain, delayed eruption of teeth, and expansion of the affected bone. Okay, now we'll discuss about radiographic features. It will be a radiolucent destructive process that contains calcified structures. Same appearance was there in the ameloblastic fibroodontoma and same here we have the radiolucent uh, lesion will be there with calcified structures and that calcified structure will be having a radio density of tooth structure okay so this same you know radiographic feature was there in our uh, you know other lesion that was the ameloblastic fibroodontoma which we have discussed in our previous lecture you can watch that lecture okay so you will have a good idea because I have given pictures and images there so you can check that lecture okay so uh, let's read this these have this radio density of a tooth structure and may resemble miniature teeth or occur has a large dermosis of calcified material similar to a complex odontoma so okay if we do, now we'll discuss about histopathological features it is you know complex it will have a complex histo pathological features the proliferating epithelial portion of the tumor has features of an ameloblastoma most often the plexiform or follicular pattern so even the histopathological features will be having two components uh, uh, one will be having that of ameloblastoma component and uh, other will be having odontoma like components and in ameloblastoma you know in, i think you people remember that lecture of ameloblastoma where we have uh, you know six patterns of the uh, histopathological patterns of the ameloblastoma M most common was the follicular pattern and on second number it was plexiform pattern so this will look like the, the these both uh, like the follicular one and the plexiform one and if we talk about the compound uh, uh, odontoma uh, in, in in short if we talk about the odontoma it will look like compound odontoma or complex odontoma so remember if you talk about the histopathology of the ameloblastic odontoma so there will be you know histopathological features same as that of ameloblastoma plus that of odontoma and in odontoma there are two you know types one is complex and compound so it may cont uh, it may have a uh, features of the uh, compound or complex one okay so let's read this the ameloblastic component is intermingled with immature or more mature dental tissues in the form of developing rudimentary teeth which is similar to the appearance of the compound odontoma this compound odontoma is more commonly present in the maxilla and it contains like small uh, teeth rudimentary teeth like structures okay so m it may have this component or it may have also uh, the complex component the complex is more commonly present in the mandible and these are some you know uh, they are just masses of enamel dentine and cementum it doesn't look like the uh, proper tooth structure the compound one uh, look li looks like it uh, proper tooth structure okay so it may have both compound odontoma look like uh, like structures or the complex odontoma like structures that is how we can you know differentiate this has the ameloblastic uh, odontoma okay now we'll discuss about treatment and prognosis uh, you know there are multiple recurrences after local curettage and it appears that this tumor has the same biological potential as the ameloblastoma so same so now uh, you know after all the uh, you know discussion 
on the behavior and the you know different features so uh, we can uh, easily you know understand that it, it has the same potential as that of the ameloblastoma and we should treat these as ameloblastoma similar like ameloblastoma uh, the better thing will be resection has done for the ameloblastoma because there are multiple chances of recurrences if we do curettage and uh, enucleation stuff so we will need a similar treatment like ameloblastoma which was resection that is a better better choice of treatment okay so these are the references of this lecture hopefully you enjoyed my lecture so if you enjoy my lecture please subscribe to my channel and till my next lecture take care bye bye